Have you ever wanted to equip a dead squirrel and beat a man to death with it just to steal his shoelaces? I replaced one of my counselors with a horse. Or I could ask a gigantic sewer slug for his favorite soup recipe, drink it, and turn myself permanently into a gigantic sewer slug that stores, pressurizes, and spits entire rivers of acid. We drink our currency. Most common cause of death, a brick wall. This takes uh, almost 80 years, during which they transform into hippo and bite the shit out of each other. You were cryogenically frozen by accident in a sperm bank robbery gone wrong. Drink some toilet water. So, unless you want to stare at mud huts all day, we need to talk about the essentials of Egyptian life. Imagine living in a world where the difference between life and death is decided almost entirely by what you had for breakfast that day. And I sort of just freaked out and ate a lot of innocent people for absolutely no reason. Fully functional, four-wheel drive. I stole an Asda shopping cart. It doesn't use many resources, so I can focus my CPU cycles into sending my personal information to the CCP. Would you like it if a woman stepped in your bowl of cereal? Don't answer that. Oh, that's a nice empty storage yard you have there. I'm gonna fill it with clay. In the beginning, your only concerns are food, water, and preventing your mud hut from spontaneously combusting. I found out concrete is not only indestructible, it can also hold weaponry in its hands. Historians attribute this to the fact that Egypt is closer to the sun. You gotta customize your crackhead. Then forget about trading because my people are dead. Listen, I can respect the fact that you can self-insert your OC girlfriend, but at least give us the option of dismembering her. Doom is not a very good book. One dram equals 16 drams. Of Have you ever fallen out with someone and restored your friendship using quantum entanglement to retroactively rewrite history and save them from a car crash that never actually happened. Even lower on Maslow's hierarchy of needs is the physiological requirement for a human being to evade taxation. Because, uh, well, after eating another dude's nut, getting your own torn off, and tearing out his eyeballs only to proverbially give birth to them once again is kind of a low blow to your reputation. And as you try to chow down a fig, it fucking despawns. So you reach for another, it also despawns. And now you're naked. Do you want to fabricate narcotics in the middle of combat? We can install fingers on top of your fingers. This may explain the lack of fish in ancient Egyptian diets. Probably because, as far as they were concerned, they were dick eaters. Don't fuck with me, because if you do, I'm gonna run away. You won't just be a footnote in history. You'll be an interesting footnote in history. I am compelled by the mechanics of a game to form a ghetto. Tired of your tiny, feminine hands? Giant hands. Thank your doctor. Then execute him for incompetence. Everything in the world is about sex. And then you're going to cook some gravity. Do you know how many police officers it takes to kill one hippopotamus? You know the Great Pyramids of Egypt? Imagine they could fly. Now imagine you fused it with a Sherman T-34 Calliope and expanded the rocket tubes to a hundred. Because the cheapest cure for malaria is to delete the household. Then I pour acid on my feet and become immortal. This happens so often that I sleep with everyone else's wife, just in case. I'm not very competent. I did, however, manage to beat a man to death with an iPad. With the Federal Reserve forever printing lava, we don't have to worry about money anymore. This is a legend. Look at them. Not a phone in sight. Just people living in the moment dying of malaria. Now, infanticide is not something I support. It's something I recommend. Rival hobo squatting on your favorite park bench? Just stab him to death with a piece of broken glass. I don't even mind when people die now. It sounds great. I once made a mutant with six arms. When the kids ask him if they can collectively mutilate themselves in the sandbox, he doesn't say, no, don't do that. He says, give it a try. See what happens. In a perfectly natural response to your mom accidentally harpooning you, Horus decapitates his mother. Don't worry, it's not fatal. Yeah, your your father unfortunately passed away in a nutty putty cave. Without a palace, your palace cannot be robbed, and the plants talk behind your back. You see, the only way to delay divine punishment is getting shit-faced and drinking copious amounts of alcohol. Amputating your legs to replace them with a set of motorized tank treads is, unfortunately, an irreversible process. But there's also another, less 
lesser-known purpose to statues dealing with wild animals. Roses are red, violets are blue, I like penis, and so do you. I also stab the Pope. And your brother always wants more of your wife. Your child could be killed during a mass archery incident by some madman armed with an automatic crossbow. If an animal is not beaten, a citizen gets eaten. I tested this, and unfortunately, you can't build a tax prison. And so, I seduced the Pope. Marry your sister. Divorce your sister because she's too old. Marry her daughter instead. I hope you have an extra head. Have you ever had a fungal infection on your arm that, despite your best efforts, won't go away? No problem. Just Just cut it off. Southeast London, hole in the wall. Take the USB stick and don't look back. If you do, run. If you hesitate, I'm not responsible and I don't know you. Good luck. We're going to buy his cloning solution, pour it on his body, and watch him multiply. And then we're going to buy cloning solution from his clones to multiply them as well. Why? I had to kill a man for his tattoo gun so I could drink the ink, pull the cord on a flashbang, and explode it into my open eyes. Why? 